My name is Yvette and we own two businesses, a cleaning company and a cafe. When I say we, I mean my husband and I, and our son's starting to get into the swing of things. The cleaning side of things, we started that, um, I think it was in 2017. My husband's a clean freak, so we said why not put that habit into <laughs> something that can generate income. And then the cafe side of things, I love hosting, I love cooking, I love food just brings people together. So again, I thought why not turn that into a business and bring people together. It's fulfilling to know that you're giving somebody an opportunity to get a job and they're looking after their family. So that's also one of the big things that drives us every day. Even when things can be tough, we always know that there's about 10, 20 families that depend on the business running. There's always room for growth and there's always room for learning. So I thought joining the incubator would be a stepping stone, not just for myself as an individual, but for the business as well. That for me is tapping into that knowledge, tapping into that anointing. That's one of the main reasons why I joined. It's just to that exposure and that networking and learning and tapping into somebody else's knowledge and anointing. Seeing all these wonderful people that we've had the chance to have a talk with over the last few months has been amazing and eye-opening. I think the hardest thing is reflecting back on where you could potentially be going wrong. Most of us are bootstrapping, we've all started with our own savings and stuff, so it's that, the finance side of things and also the HR, there's so many things that go into a business, there's so many things in, behind the scenes that I didn't know about and it's reflecting and thinking where we could go better. When you understand that what you're doing is not for you, you're doing it for the kingdom, I think. When you let go and let God be the one that's on the driver's seat. But once you lay it at his feet and say, this is not me, this is yours. These are not my people that are part of my team, they're yours. It helps you use those fruits of the spirit that we read about in Galatians, you know, patience, love, kindness. A business leader in kingdom, you need that. Sometimes it's so easy to get swept away with success and fame and everything. But when you're grounded in his word and in his ways, you always remember who you are and why you're doing what you're doing. God is at the top and then Jesus is your uh, chief finance officer and then you come in after that. So it's got nothing to do with me. You know when you come in on Sunday in church and it's just, you get that minute mingle, but this is that minute mingle times a thousand. You're getting to speak to people that are like-minded, people that are on the same journey as you. You get people that are praying over you because they, they know the challenges that you're facing as well. If you want to be equipped and you want to tap into the anointing and you want that networking, it's totally worth it. So if you're thinking about it, I would seriously encourage you to come in. It will change and accelerate your business world in a way that you can't even imagine.